about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. You wear knickers? Ugh. Bit, bit too much information there, mate. Hey everyone, my name's Mike, and in this video we're going to be doing the quest called Count Reuben's Treasure. And what it is, is there's a guy called Ditchka Reuben, and um, he had loads of treasure in this vault here. And it's been stolen from, by going through this explosion. Someone exploded into the wall, came in, stole his treasure. And it, we actually came here looking for Dandelion, and it turns out that Dandelion's the guy who stole from it. But he doesn't know we know that, and he wants us to actually find out who it is. So we're kind of getting paid for the job of um, finding out who the thief was, and we're also going to find our friend at the end of this, hopefully, which is the person we've been looking for anyway. So it's kind of cool the way things turned out. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Alright, so we can go inside the sewers, which is where they came from. Do a bit of investigating, see what we've got. We've got a bit of a... Put the gate there, it looks like. Pipes, great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now, why am I not finding pieces of it and go any further without taking that antidote? Alright, uh, we need to... Actually, I got the antidote in our inventory uh, right there. I thought witcher's potions were vile. The guy gave us um, some antidote, which will make us not take damage from the, the smoke in the sewers, because it's quite deadly. So we've got some enemies in front of us here. So, I got the, they put too much smoke in this game. It doesn't run well on PlayStation 4. When there's smoke on the screen, the frame rate just drops. It's it's so annoying. Oops. So they're quite low level. They're level nine. I'm level fifteen, so they don't do much damage to me if they do hit me. So these enemies as well, these drowners, they're weak to fire, that's why I'm using fire so much. And also I've got it um, buffed up with the ability points so it reduces their armor every time I hit them with them. Hit it with them. Hit them with it, excuse me, I can't speak. Um, so we're going to follow the current still, it's on the map, it's pretty easy to follow, it's just a blue line. Got something strange going on in here. <laughs> Whoa, I stabbed him and he went in half. That's like the Kill Bill, like one inch punch type thing, ex exploding his body. Alright, use your Witcher sensors to, be se to search the sewer room for evidence. So, there's a red thing over there, let's click on that. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped. Probably by the explosion. Bone part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. Hmm. Be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. All right, so we found out what we came for. I was going to jump up there and see if we had to look at anything, anything else. So we need to head back to Dijkstra. Um, Dijkstra. How do you spell his name? Pronounce his name, excuse me. I'm just calling him, call him Dijkstra. It's a silent J. You can leave it at that. <laughs> am I going the right way? I think I am. I'm just sprinting through all this stuff. Yeah, here we go. This is the blown up and wall. So Dijkstra's, um, he's upstairs. We need to find the ladder we came down. Where is it? Alright, so we're back in the bathhouse. Dijkstra should be in here somewhere. I don't know what he's doing in here. He's probably just chilling with his, his robe on again. Hang on, is he in here? Where is he? There he is, on the other side of that wall. How do we get through there? Alright, there's like a door on this wall here. So... Hey! Is that him? No, that's not. That's just... That's the guy that brought brings him in. Uh, there he is. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I'm done investigating. Yeah. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Let's take a seat. It's going to be a long one. Sir, 
Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I, that's what I observed. Could be wrong. No, which is never wrong. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. You wear knickers? Ugh. Bit, bit too much information there, mate. So this guy as well, he, I think this um, is an old friend and an old acquaintance of Geralt from previous games. So look for clues about the thieves on the bathhouse side room. Rooms using your size, your witcher sensors. What's this? Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Why is it inside? All right, there's um, something on this side as well. What's this? Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Oh, we found something. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. Um, let's see what's at the bottom. On the bottom. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Why is that impossible? Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. Oh. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. He's a eunuch. So where do I start? Hey, me. <laughs> the witch has got a heart. He's telling him, don't tell him, take the piss out of him because he's got no balls. Let's be, let's be nice. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery. Oh, he's talking about me. <laughs> I thought you were saying be nice to that other guy. He doesn't give a fuck about that other guy. Ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home, derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. All right, so let's go to Margrave Henkel's house. Margrave. Sounds like a lady. Like Margaret. Maybe he's a twin. Did they say in the book that it said Margrave, or did it say Henkel? Maybe he's got the same surname. Alright, we've arrived at Margrave Henkel's house. So we can search it using our Witcher sensors. Can we just get- can we- Let's blow the doors on him. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. There you go, he's got, he's got a shit door. Um, oh, that stairs just appeared. He's, he's an illusionist. Footprints. There's also, um... What's that? Is that, a, is that a cylinder for the bomb? Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Yep. Things are coming together. 
It's all making sense. What's this? Is there something in the... It looks like a chest. Silver plate and a ca is, is, is a casket inside there? A casket for what? What, a, a baby dog? How can you, why is that a casket in a box? I don't understand. My brain is, like, not understanding it. What are these footprints? Why are they so, like, colourful? What's in this one? Another casket! Oh, this guy collects caskets! A casket is a coffin, isn't it? Like, for a person. What's this? A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Hmm. Solve the riddle from the mysterious note. Alright, so let's read the notes again. So, the wine from your birth year is simply brilliant. Starting, startling bouquet, you absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. So we need to put a bottle somewhere. So what about a bouquet? With love from D. The wine from your from your birth year? Oh. So that actually doesn't mean anything to us, the, the, the birth year thing. I think it's just telling them, you know, look at this wine. So we need to keep in mind putting the bottle in place somewhere. And the bouquet. So let's go back. Let's see if we can use the- oh, okay, there's a, a door there. What's this? Can we open this? Or maybe when you solve the riddle and put it in place, the um, the door opens. Because I don't think um, this will work if we try and blow it. No, that doesn't work. Alright, so I think if we put the bottle in place... Then it will open the- Ooh! Ooh! Okay. I thought they were spikes. I shit my pants then. They're just bottles. <laughs> so let's put the bottle where we found it. What did that say? 1121 or something? So this is like... Years ago. Five to 1254. Yeah. That was a bear year. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Yeah. So, the door must have opened. Or unlocked. Yep. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. <laughs> Pro like proper when you think heist, you think like bank, don't you? Like modern day like vault, but it's it's still used back these days these days. So there's Sugar. another bomb. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Kalkstein? I don't know who that is. What's that on the ground? Can we can we click it? Can I get a good angle on it so we can? It looks like a body. Stain. Wyvern oil. Oh no, looks nothing like a body. Actually, it's a bottle with the oil on the floor. I thought that bottle was a skull on the butt. Forget it. Forget it. And what's this? Letter from Dudu. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Uh oh. Let's. I'm not looking here. Oh, it's just the longsword. Uh, so there's someone downstairs. Who could that be? Is that. Hopefully it's dandelion and we finally found him. Because I'm getting a bit annoyed now that we haven't found him, because we've been looking for him for ages. Dextra. No, it's Dextra. Triss. I'm Triss. Have a word with Dextra. Okay, so we're allowed to be seen. we got to go down there. So let's have a word. What are they up to? Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. <laughs> Me too. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Um, all signs point to Meng. Wait, why did you come here? 
Yeah, I want to ask that because maybe he doesn't trust me. Hang on, gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned yep. about you. I don't fucking so trust you. If everything was all right. You're a sneaky fucking witch, you cunt. You don't trust me? Thanks, really. I'm gonna be sarcastic, like he always is. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, they'll remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really. He's got very dark eyes, does not he? Wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Oh, point. Yeah, it's just do the quest. Um, that's it's a bit. There's not many choices to this to say things in this game. I mean, there is choices, but they don't. I mean, there are choices, but not not very signi significantly different. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Um, Margrave Heckle. Margrave Henkel told me everything. Told me? Um, because he's so doesn't trust me, I'm gonna reserve stuff. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time, but only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Mm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though, to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunters' quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. I doubt Menger will say anything willingly. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Triss and I, that's all in the past. You're using us. Uh, is it in the past? Let's say this one. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. He needs to button up his sleeves. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. What? Dijkstra doesn't need to know everything. He didn't say anything either. <laughs> uh... That one implies that I agree with her. And that this one questions her. I want to question her. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's always about Siri. Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. Alright, see you then. Ooh, selfie mission. So, we're still doing the quest for Count Reuven's treasure. Let's continue it. Meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor around midnight. So let's get to that place and then we'll meditate until midnight. Alright, so we're at the Eternal Fire Shrine, which is where we need to meet Triss. So all we need to do now is meditate and wait till midnight. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. You mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? 
Take these shackles. Put them on me. Oh, she's gonna go in undercover, pretend to be a prisoner. Man explaining what this is about. Uh, Triss, sure about this here and now? Kinky bitch. <laughs> uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? People will know you like bondage. You, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. So she's wanted by these people. Hmm. on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. We haven't actually had an update of where Siri's been in ages. We have no idea where she is. It's crazy. So, all right then, but what then? Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Um, Wait, wanted to thank you. What about the... Does it, does, there's no such thing as, like, in this game, like, relationship points. So does it matter if I thank her? Let's just do it anyway. I feel like, you know, Gevolt wants to get as much of the ladies' love as he can. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Oh. Hey, let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. My Wait, so she's got shackles on, but they're not connected. She's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, alright? 